What up, farm? So, today is a very exciting day. We've got a few things happening. Um, we're going to finish off some things and we're going to start some new things. So, yesterday, I got busy and I pulled all of the belts off of the windrail front. So, there's no more draper mats on that anymore. Chelsea's is going to give that a wash down today and we're going to back that in the shed but just now I pulled the header out of the shed so she's pretty much right to go but exciting things are happening because this year we are going to have ag leader yield monitoring so we're going to be taking that yield monitor out and we're going to be putting the ag leader system in so that's what we'll be working on today. So let's get into it. All right, so I've just taken the, the old yield monitor box out of its place here. And um, even though it says uh, Case Corporation on the back of it, it says made in the USA for the Case Corporation. That's because this is actually an ag leader yield monitor. Aglader were the first ones to really get into yield monitoring and um, pretty much they made them for a lot of different companies uh, Case IH being one of them All right, got the trusty old system out The new Aglader screens all mounted up there Now we just got to run some cabling While we're going we'll take off the old uh, steering bracket because we will not be needing that anymore here we go the old trusty homemade bracket has done its purpose now it's ready for retirement all right we'll open up these boxes and see what we got here So this is the switch kit, I do believe. Alright, so I've just unpackaged the steering collar, the switch kit. Um, so we're just about to split it off here and then put it around the steering wheel and put it back together. And then we'll be able to put our top plate on that goes over the steering wheel like that. I might have to move my dodgy little handle. Um, yeah, but we're getting it done. So Alex has come to give me a hand, haven't ya? Little dribble pipe. We're just putting the top ring on um, the steering wheel at the moment, just got to tighten it down and then we'll do the anti-rotation bracket on the back.
Would you look at that? Clean Wee. as a whistle. Oh, no. Good job. Alright guys, so I've got the screen in. I've got the steering system all in. I've got all my wiring run. I've got to just clean up all the ends of these zip ties. Runs under the rubber mat. All this wiring's run. It all goes into this box here. That's where the spaghetti lives. Anyway, looks pretty neat from the outside. When I get uh, my SCM out of the big tractor, I'll put it in there. Um, yeah. But we're getting there. So I just thought I'd better mention, I didn't say this earlier, this steering, this steady steer unit here, and this Aglator in command 1200 screen, and the receiver, they are not new products. Um, these, this is the one out of our big John Deere tractor, um, and I've just got a switch kit, so this part and all the wiring which means that when you want to change change all this guidance system back to the big tractor, all you do is take this steady steer unit, it just unclips just like that. You take the screen, you take the receiver and the SCM, which will go down there, which I forgot to get out of the tractor, um, yeah and you just take it back to the tractor and everything's already there ready to go. Uh, so, yeah, it's really easy to switch over. All right, so a few of you were asking what we were gonna do to pick up the canola windrows. And um, as some of you know, we bought a pickup front and I've just picked it up. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I've always wanted to pick up front. Yeah. Looks really cool, I reckon. Can't wait to use it.